Wow. Hi, Chad. Hi. Hi. So what's what's going on here? Well, we are just wrapping up our convention, the 2008 yeah. convention, which is the last convention Star Trek The Experience will see in the future. Yeah. We're also getting ready for our, about three weeks away from our closing day um, of a wonderful ten year run at Star Trek yeah. The Experience. Yeah. 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 I'm currently the operations and uh, marketing director at Star Trek. Right, right, right. But that's not uh, that's not what you started as when you arrived here, right? It's well, not. You were uh, telling me uh, you were in. You're working with. Um, yes, I, started, I was working with Alzheimer's um, yeah. for for many many years in the state of New Mexico uh, uh -huh. with the Alzheimer's Association. Yeah. Um, and had direct contact with patients in that care. Um, I needed a break from that, as you can imagine. Um, yeah. There was about ten years of work with yeah. with, with um, this illness, and. I decided to move to Las Vegas to pursue my acting dreams. Uh -huh. Audition for Star Trek The Experience as a barf drone for the very oh, first okay. time. And it was my first job that I got in, and that's what brought me to this position there. Yeah, and that was when the Borg 4D came in, That right? was when Borg Invasion yeah. first opened. Yeah. Um, and I did that role for about a year, year and a half, and moved into a Starfleet role in the attraction. And then moved, of course, to utilize my management skills uh, into yeah. the operations department. Yeah, get back to that. But you're, there's a lot of the things. It's, it's really been a family here, right? A family feeling? It's definitely been a family. On all sides. It's I been think. the most phenomenal group of staff I've ever worked with. Yeah. It's been a very dedicated group. Yeah. Well, so what's, what are in the wrap up plans? Uh, Going we're definitely forward. Our decommissioning ceremony on, on September 1st. That's okay. going to be a huge event. Um, yeah. We are definitely going to exit the, um, the station in, in its proper way. Um, we anticipate large crowds for that. Um, okay. And lots of emotions, as you can imagine. Yeah. Um, Forks Boring Grill is going to wrap up fairly early um, yeah. to be able to prepare for that decommissioning ceremony. Well, if somebody wants to be here for that, what do they do? Go to the, go to the website? They're around the country somewhere. What do they... Uh... They can definitely go to our website, uh, StarTrekExp.com, yeah. just to get the date. But it's open to yeah. the public. It's going to be in the front of the attraction, and everyone's welcome. Oh, okay. Out in front. Oh, outdoors. Actually, right. Oh, right, right out here. Right. Yeah, in front of the attraction, the space. <clears throat> People are, uh, it's sad to see it go, but uh, for you guys, a lot of memories. It's a bittersweet. We've had a long run, we've had a very successful run. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think any of us wants it to end. Yeah. So what, so, uh, I mean, the closing has brought on a lot of things. I know there's the memory wall over there. Someone told me that was your idea, that uh, you started getting... It was. There was notes? tons of notes and letters and emails that I was receiving, and I thought it was definitely something the fans would want to see. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our wall of memories. Um, you'll notice there are all kinds of emails that were sent to me. Uh, most of these emails were just sharing their ex um, fans' experiences mm -hmm. throughout the years. Uh, we received lots, of course, save the experience letters. Yeah. But I wanted to display more of the memory side, the positive memory side of the experience. Yeah. I've also made it available for individuals to actually write their comments here at the experience okay. while they're visiting us. Yeah. And there's actually oh, that's... a very unique item. This is the area where items are to be placed that, um, that are to be hung on the wall. Uh -huh. I think we all know the meaning behind this baseball. I don't have to yeah. get into this. Um, this is something apparently that a fan just left for us. Uh, and <laughs> you, hopes to. Oh, you didn't know this was here. I did not know this was here. That's it. Definitely, it's going to. Uh, it's going to remain with us. Um, A place of honor. Yes. Absolutely. So again, another very unique piece here, as you can imagine. Uh -huh. um, this is an individual who requested an email or sent me an email requesting oh, okay. me what was the beginning date of the experience. Mm -hmm. So that he had updated his tattoo on his arm with the opening date and the closing date of the experience. Now yeah, that's a Again, fan. That's a fan. Uh, and this is what this represents. These are yeah. fans who, who obviously uh, found great Star Trek experiences.